Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back with yet another Viking Orations. Got another review for you today, and this time I'm going to be talking to you about the latest release from the band Faceless Burial, entitled At the Foothills of Dilleration. Out now on Dark Descent Records. And if you're not familiar with Faceless Burial, they are a death metal band out of Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. Been around since 2014, featuring Alex on bass and vocals, Max on drums, and Fuj. Hopefully I pronounced your name right. If not, I apologize. Handling the guitars. Uh, this is the band's third full-length album overall. It is six tracks and just a little under 37 minutes in length. And, you know, I've heard stuff from this band before, uh, songs here and there. And I really enjoyed what I heard, so I was really anxious to hear this whole album when it hit my inbox. And honestly, they did not disappoint me at all. And they honestly waste no time hitting you with the blast beats, the thick guitars, and that equally thick bass um the guitars hunting here honestly sounds simply nasty uh they hit you with the mid to fast paced riffs but they also like to slow it down to a heavy chuggy groove or just honestly settle into a nice head bangable groove in general uh some good examples of this track number two a mire of penitence the opening salvo of this song and honestly about half of the song is a great example of that, you know, nice, slow, chuggy groove before they really pick up pace towards the latter half of the track. Uh, track number six, re Redivivus Through Vaticination. Say that three times fast. Whew. Uh, at the 235 mark, that's another great example of how this band can actually set up into a nice, head-bangable groove. Um, as soon as that riff came in, I just found myself, you know, it's really getting into it. And honestly, when you listen to this album, some of the riffs at times to me give off a like later era death vibe to them. Um, again, I go back to track number two for a good example of this. Uh, the riff starting at the 346 mark and especially the one that starts at 452 definitely give off death vibes. <laughs> Uh, the bass tone in here is thick with a slight techie feel to it. Uh, it's right up in the mix, yet it doesn't really overshadow any of the other instruments. And I really dug what he was doing with the bass on here. I really thought he was, you know, put out a really killer performance. I loved his playing. Uh, great drum production on the album. Love the powerful sounding kick drums on here. And the snare has a good uh, snap to it. Uh, really nice patterns, rolls, and fills. And I especially loved his double bass work, uh, his blast beats, and his cymbal work especially. Um, yeah, really good performance from him overall. Uh, vocally, you get a nice powerful low-end growl. And I like how at times they put a slight cavernous effect to them. Makes it sound even more bad. Badass. And honestly, he reminds me a little bit of Oscar Matter from Ceremonium on their Into the Autumn Shade album. It's like the more I listened to this album, I was like, man, he reminds me of somebody. And then finally it clicked with me. I was like, Ceremonium on that first album. That's what I was getting reminded of. Uh, yes, yeah, one of the other things that I picked out while listening to this, track number five. Again, this first word I'm totally going to butcher probably. Horospex. Uh, the foothills of Dilleration. Uh, about 40 seconds into the song, this slow picked section starts, and it has this really like ethereal feel to it, especially when these female vocals come in with their kind of angelic, oh, that they're doing. And then what sounds like keyboards is getting played briefly. And this goes on for most of the song, really. Then at about the 227 mark, this really heavy guitar riff comes in, and it kind of comes in off and on throughout to kind of close out the song. Uh, really love that, because to me, it's kind of like about the only reprieve you get from, you know, just that fast paced, you know, death metal that you got going on here, which, you know, some might say it would probably would have been better to put that towards the middle of the album because you basically, you know, get this kind of a brief reprieve and then you get the last song, but I thought it still worked out really well. Uh, overall, an absolute banger of an album from this Aussie death crew. Uh, this is honestly the first album that I've actually heard all the way through and I need to get all their material now. I want to get a copy of this and their other two full lengths and get myself all caught up. I mean, this album is heavy, nasty, yet it has that little bit of a techie feel to it. And while these are pretty lengthy songs, I mean, we're talking at least six minutes a piece, um, 
they're so well written and extra you really don't even notice all that much and you just get yourself so caught up in listening to it before you know it you're on to the next song but uh yeah definitely a band worth checking out for sure go check out faceless barrel i will leave a link down below so you can check it out and pick up a copy for yourself that is going to do it i give this a solid nine out of ten and yeah that is going to do it thank you so much for watching and subscribing and until next time stay brutal